Welcome back to Grill on the Go DC. I'm Ronnie J. And today I will be reviewing the Norwegian Sky three-day cruise to the Bahamas from Miami. One question you may have is, do I need a passport to cruise to the Bahamas? The answer is yes, you absolutely need a passport to cruise to the Bahamas. They are going to check this before you even get onto the ship. You do not get a passport stamp, unfortunately, but it is required to go to the Bahamas that you do have your passport. Edit, you can travel to the Bahamas with a government issued ID and birth certificate, though it's not advised in case you do need to fly back for an emergency. The first item I want to talk about is pricing. What intrigued me about this cruise versus other options is that not only is it all-inclusive, all-inclusive meaning your beverages and food are included in the price, but it had an open bar. Most cruises, an open bar is going to cost more or two, you're just gonna pay for your drinks. So the fact that within this price, I could drink anything I wanted, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, and my food was covered and my lodging, because of course you have the room on the ship. And there's also entertainment on board. I paid $623.41 for an inside stateroom. This is the lowest quality room on the cruise because it's the lowest deck wise. So you're closer to the water and there's no windows. Um, so, and I also shared this room with another person. The first day we arrived, they had like a DJ and they were doing these games. Um, there was, there's a pool and a jacuzzi on the ship. So within that price, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and if you drink, I would say that alone is one of the best selling points for going with the Norwegian Sky three-day Bahamas cruise if you're considering going to the Bahamas. For me personally, the room was not that important. I don't need the most luxurious room because I don't plan on spending that much time in the room. This cruise for me was about going out, having fun, seeing the sights, doing what there is to do on the ship. So for me, the fact that this price was for, was basically one of the cheapest rooms, um, that didn't bother me because like I said, the room for me was not that important. Within that room, there are two twin size beds. You have a very small compact bathroom and there's like a mirror area and a small closet, like coat closet. So it's very close quarters. I think with, with any cruise room, it's going to be like that. Um, but none of that really affected my decision because I wasn't getting this cruise based on the luxuriousness of the room. One of the best parts about this, especially if you want to do it as a group trip, is that Norwegian does allow you to make payments throughout the year leading up to your trip. So for me, I can make payments up until March and the cruise was in June. So that gave myself and the people I was traveling with time and we were able to do it on our, make those payments on our own timeline. So there was no strict payment plan of, hey, this is due this date, this is due this date. You basically pay at your own leisure, but it's all due at the end of March and the cruise was in June. As I mentioned, we left from Miami. If you're planning this as a girl's trip, bachelorette trip, whatever it may be, that's a great opportunity to spend at least a night in Miami, experience some nightlife. I know for myself, me and my girls went to Nobu. We had an, you know, a nice dinner before we did the cruise and we were all flying in from different places. So it gave us kind of that one night to just meet up, do something together and then board the cruise the next day. The first day of the cruise, you're going to Nassau. I was excited for Nassau because that is the capital of the Bahamas. 
And I really wanted to experience the culture of the people that live there on the island. So when we got off of the cruise ship, there are a lot of people that are just out. It's like a market. They're selling things. They're offering to take you on a tour. Um, so we went with someone on a tour. It was basically they had a van. It was just a local person that does tours. Um, you pay them up front. They do take um, American dollars. So we basically went and did that. One of the most popular beaches in Nassau is Junkanoo Beach. So we went there for a bit. There I was able to get some um, jerk chicken, which was delicious. It was like a bunch of little places you could get food there. Um, the beach, I would say, is not going to be the cleanest beach or the clearest water. I think the sand might have been a little rocky, but... We spent a good amount of time there. One of my friends joined like a volleyball game that was going on. They were actually having like, there was a DJ out and they were doing some type of twerk competition. One of my friends joined that. Um, I laid out, took a nap because that's just who I am as a person. But we all enjoyed ourselves. Junkanoo is definitely a stop you should make while in Nassau. The second day of the cruise is spent at Norwegian's private island, Great Stirrup K. I had my reservations about going to Great Stirrup K because I didn't think I would really get to experience Caribbean culture because it is a private island. And I really wanted, I like getting the feel for locals, what they do, what they eat, where they go. And I felt like with it being a private island, I would not get any of that. However, Great Stirrup K really blew away my expectations. You know, this is where, let me rewind. To get to Great Stirrup K, you actually have to depart on another boat. So the cruise ship is going to stop. You're going to load onto these smaller boats that actually take you then to Great Stirrup K. Once you get off, you're going to see like a huge difference between Nassau and Great Stirrup K. On Great Stirrup K, it was just much cleaner because it is a private beach. Um, it was relaxing. The water was clearer there. It was, it was amazing. Like I didn't think I would like a, a private island, but I absolutely loved it. Um, that's also the day where you're going to do your excursions. If you do decide to purchase any, I do recommend purchasing them in advance. I was able to do one, purchase it on site, but if you know there's something you want to do, purchase it in advance. Um, excursions include swimming with the dolphins, parasailing, jet skis, all of those types of activities you think of, this is the day that you want to do that. The one that, the excursion that I did was parasailing. Um, so I got on this pretty small speed boat with other passengers. They did have a life jacket for me and they speed out into the ocean and will lift you up into the air. Like it was such just, a thrilling, exhilarating experience to be up in the air. You go up with one other person. So we did talk to each other before we went up there and just looking down at the ocean and seeing how vast it is and just being at that height. There's something about it that I feel like you should just do it. Just try it. Um, it's an adrenaline rush. So I really enjoyed parasailing. Great Star K again awesome island. And again, lunch was free. Whatever time they set out lunch, you basically just go to these um, areas. Imagine like a picnic table area and they have the food out. I believe it was burgers, hot dogs, um, kind of like picnic food in that respect or barbecue food. Um, so it's not going to be your local food like jerk chicken. It was just, you know, kind of what the cruise ship was providing on their private island. And there were bars around. You're still drinking free.
If you're enjoying this video, if it's helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. The last day of your cruise is your day at sea. So you're on the cruise ship the entire day. This actually was not a bad experience. There's so much to do on the cruise ship. We went to a comedy show. There's a club. I think there's two clubs on the ship. The one that we went to, the DJ was playing a mix of hip hop and I would say salsa music going back and forth between the two of those. And I think that was catering to the audience that he had on the cruise ship. Um, so you have that. I had a steak dinner on the cruise. Um, there's a lot of different restaurants. Um, there's the kind of buffet areas you can go to and get whatever you want. But then there's also these like restaurants where you can go and sit down with your friends and have a nice meal. On the ship, there's also a jacuzzi and a spa. I had a spa day where I received, I believe it was a Swedish massage and a facial. And let me tell you, it was amazing. I didn't see a lot of kids on this cruise, but when I had to find the spa, I found where the kids area is. So I do know they do have a kids club, um, but the spa was so secluded. Um, it was peaceful. It was serene. The masseuse was awesome. The facial, she told me, you know, recommended some things for my face. They also sell it on the ship. If you do decide you want to purchase the items they've used that day, I would definitely recommend that experience. It was great. My drink of choice on the cruise was the Miami Vice. You can get this drink on the rocks or frozen. The Miami Vice is made with rum, strawberries, fresh lime juice, cream of coconut, and pineapple juice. So it's a very fruity, tropical drink that really sets you in the mood of going to the Bahamas. That was the first drink we had before we took off on the cruise ship, and that is what we continue to drink for basically the duration of the cruise. Also, shots are free, which of course, you know, it's an open bar, everything is free, but don't forget about those nights when you wanna party and turn up, those shots are included. So one night, I believe it's the last night of the cruise, there is an all white party. So that is spent on like the main deck where there's a dance floor, there's a pool, um, and there's two bars on either side, but the all white party was lit. In this video, we've covered the pricing for the Norwegian three day cruise to the Bahamas. We've covered what you're gonna do each day on the cruise and what there is to do aboard the cruise ship. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Smooches.